Are you tired of nurses that don't take time to help their patients achieve their goals? Is your nurse unpleasant to patients that just need a little motivation? All right, Carrie, I'm here to take your vitals. Okay. Why haven't you eaten yet? I'm not hungry. Why? I don't want to eat. I'm seriously so over today. Like, I have a patient, she will not eat. She, cont I continually asked her why, and she said she just doesn't, she's not hungry. I'm over it, like I'm done. I'm seriously sick of this. Hold on. This nurse clearly didn't use King's theory of goal attainment. Firstly, Bree didn't introduce herself to the patient. She was forceful and she had an attitude when she saw that Carrie didn't eat her meal. She didn't talk to the client about her feelings and help her set and attain goals. Now, let's watch how the situation should have been handled using King's theory of goal attainment. I'm Bree. I'll be your nurse today. I'm just here to take a few vital signs. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, Carrie. Everything sounds really what good. I just noticed that you didn't eat anything. Uh, yeah. Are you feeling okay? I'm just not hungry. Okay. Well, it's really important that you eat and keep your body healthy in order for you to be able to go home today. Yeah, I don't know. I've just never been happy with the way I look. Like, I tend to skip meals and I've never eaten healthy at all. There are so many ways that you can eat healthy and so many resources online that you can look up by yourself. And there's so many in this hospital that I can give to you. I have dietitians, we have so many resources here. I can actually go call one right now and I can see if they can come stop by for you and talk to you about some options for meal planning. Yeah, that sounds really great. I really appreciate it. Okay, awesome. Well, I'll go do that, but can you do me a favor while I'm gone and just try to take a little bite of food for me, even if it's just little? Okay. In the second example, the nurse took time to care for the client and help her set attainable goals. Here are some of the key aspects of the King's theory. Nurse and patient perceptions, judgments, and actions, if congruent, lead to goal-related transactions. If nurse and patient make transactions, goals will be attained. If nurses with special knowledge and skills communicate appropriate information to clients, mutual goal setting and attainment will occur. If goals are attained, satisfaction and effective nursing care will occur. In the first scene, Nurse Bree did not make appropriate interactions with her patient Carrie, and therefore, no transaction occurred. However, in the second clip, Bree had an appropriate reaction and interaction with Carrie, and therefore a transaction occurred. This allowed Bree to help Carrie understand more about healthy weight loss. King's Theory usually retails for $50, but if you order right now, you can purchase it for a low cost of $30. That's three easy payments of $10. And, if you call within the next 60 minutes, we'll throw in a free ID badge reel. That's a $5 value for free. Mercedes, your money records, the army, the navy, it ran me 10,000, I threw it like Brady. Foreign is yellow like Tracy and Katie, I trust in my niggas. is what happens when your nurse doesn't use King's theory. They end up dead. And if you call within the next 60 minutes, you'll receive a free ID badge for free. That's a $5, wait, shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you tired of nurses that don't take time to help their patients achieve their goals? Do you want your nurse to just, oh, nurse and patient perception?